If we open up our studio for an entire day and night, no one can make an excuse. Everyone can come and have a good time and really rally the general public to come to do a magnificent social good right before installation. Today's paint-a-thon started at 9, I got here at 8, and it's right now 11. So the night's going to continue and I'm going to stay up until I can't stand anymore. Having a 24-hour paint-a-thon gives people a chance, you know, there's no excuse to not make it down to a 24-hour paint-a-thon because you can't say, oh, well, I was doing this at that time. Well, then do it a few hours later. It's a 24-hour day. So. Words of Hope is really known for beautification revitalization. This particular project on the animal shelters is beautification, revitalization, and the potential of saving many, many lives. It's the mom and pop organizations of foundations. It kind of goes across all walks of life, all ages, all demographics, and we've got both going here today. What this really is, is a coloring book, okay? You have the outline shape, you're given your paint, paint in between the lines. It's a coloring book. But when everybody thinks about the time that they used a coloring book, it's a happy time in your life. So I think it creates this environment of harmony where everyone's just peacefully coexisting and there's a therapeutic value that's associated with the painting. There are probably a couple things that are universal language, and that's art and music. You know, it kind of goes across all walks of life. We've had so many musicians perform throughout the day in both studios simultaneously. There's this beautiful cultural experience of music. Sometimes people aren't clapping because, look, we don't want them clapping. We want them painting. That's why we're here. And I love that. It's great energy. and. It's like a trifecta of music, art, and civic engagement. It's wonderful. 